everyone welcome to the explanation so in this video we'll be discussing about structure of fortran program okay so structure of fortran program so in this video we'll also uh, write first program our first program that is hello world talking about structure of fortran program it consists of various parts okay so first one is our program name that is name of the program or name of the code for example if you are writing a program to find the area of circle so name of your program will be area of circle or you can name similar thing second is so generally this uh, name of program name comes under comment section next part is declaration okay declaration section so this generally it consists of your um, variable declaration and all variable declaration part third is your statements so in this section you'll write the actual code or actual program next section is uh, stop section okay so this is stop section it is optional you can write or you can skip this so this is statement this is an extra statement and it says that the program is going to stop and last is in section okay so this in section you have to write in your fortran program and it denotes that we are ending the code ending the code okay so this portion this is stop is an optional part of your program okay so these are the parts of program now we are going to discuss the actual code in fortran okay so there is a particular format in uh, in which we have to write the fortran code so let me draw that format for you okay in exam no need to draw this format it is just for the first program i am going to draw this okay otherwise no need to draw this format always you can just write the program so if you see the format of this fortran program it divided into columns okay so this is first column this is second column this is sorry this is third column sorry for this curve line and this is another column okay so what are these columns name let's see this so this column is first column this column is from 2 to 5 it means that there are small small columns here this is column number 6 this is our 7 to 72 and this is column from 73 to 80 okay so this first column what is this first column this is for comment section you can write your comment here for example if you are going to write the name of program for example the name of your program is hello world okay so this is not any program that is going to be executed so you can put a c here it means that this is the comment section okay next one is 2 to 5 so this section is for label for example if in a program you are going to write go to 600 okay so what is the 600 it is a label so you can write 600 anywhere here so here you can write the program okay now this is six column sixth column is for continuation of a program continuation for example if you wrote any program and this doesn't fit in this particular you know line so you can continue it here so you have to give a plus sign here for continuation 7 to 72 here you'll write your main program this is the main body of your program okay and last we have 73 to 80 so it is optional it is very rarely be used we never use this column okay for example if you are going to write a hello world program okay so first thing is comment okay this is nothing but your program name if you see the structure this is the program name so you can write your program name always here okay so in this program we don't have any declaration variable declaration we have to just print hello world okay so the, here in this program there will be no declaration part next is printing okay so for printing we have write statement star and star so what are these i'll be explaining in later videos for now just uh, remember that write means it is similar to printf in c okay so write and 
in single quote we'll write hello so see world is i cannot write world here because there is no space so what i can do is i can put here a plus sign and write my world here it means that this is the continuation okay next step write stop if you don't want don't write but you have to write in compulsory so this is a program for hello world okay now you you don't have to you know um, draw this format always you can simply write the program so let me show another example by simply writing the program okay so if a program if a question comes that if a question is write a program in fortran to read the radius of circle and find its area okay so how to write this program in exam simply write the name of program which is program area of circle second part is you have to declare the variable so real r and area r for radius sorry no need to use semicolon because this is for trend real means it is similar to float in c okay so next is uh, this is our comment section okay so next is we have to read the radius so before reading i am going to just print a statement that is enter the radius okay next is what we are going to do we have to read the radius so read star star we will read the radius as the variable is r so we are going to read by placing r here so it means write is for printf in c and read is for scanf as we used in c now let's find the area so area equals to 3.14 into r into r okay now let's print the area so write star star okay and area because if you have, if you want to print the statement as it is so you have to put it in single quote if you want to just print the value or read the value no need to put single quote okay so area equals to comma what is the area variable name area okay so how it is going to be printed it will be printed as area equals to and the value of area so you can see that whatever i want to print as it is it is inside single quote but the value of area it is not inside single quote okay so the value of this area will be printed here okay next is stop and in the program fine so that's all for fortran programming this is how you write a fortran programming okay it's very easy if you have any question please let me know in comment section and in next uh, video i'll be covering the execution process which is very similar to c programming okay thank you and stay safe